I have an opening question. Um, um, I'm not I sure. did want to start with the most pressing question. Oh, um, I forget which patron it's coming from. Um, huh. Okay. Well, um, I can't remember the name of this patron, but he did ask, is he the a-hole for wanting a Pendleton blanket? It depends on who you are. <laughs> what are you gonna what are you gonna use it for? Yeah. <clears throat> if you're gonna blanket adopt Elizabeth Warren, then probably no. No, I'm just kidding. Well actually that did happen. I think Deb Holland put a blanket on Elizabeth Warren after she uh came out as being part Native American according to an uh twenty three and me DNA test. But um this is kind of an interesting question because I was trying to buy gifts for my dad and family for um, Christmas. And uh, it was one of these questions where somebody was like, isn't Pendleton colonial? And it's like, well, yes, it is. Uh, but it's also one of those things where it's like, if you're a native person, it's different than if you're like, you know, Kevin Costner kind of person <laughs> who's like buying it uh, for, you know, I guess, you're reading cowboys and indian magazines you probably shouldn't be buying pendleton bank blankets and if you don't know what cowboys and indians magazine is then you probably should be buying pendleton blankets so that's the best answer that i have for that <laughs> i feel like this question is being asked because of like the company itself pendleton right which is like a white owned company that produces goods primarily for native people which is, I think, is interesting too, right? You know, think about the trading post economy and everything. They saw this market and they took advantage of it. And to this day, everybody wants Pendleton still, right? And um, I personally think you should buy bootleg ass Pendleton from the flea market. Um. <laughs> oh, there's also Eighth Generation, which is a native owned company based out of Seattle. They make beautiful blankets that are very comparable i would say when it comes to design um and to pendleton's so you should check them out i'm not standing for them but also i fucking love pendleton's i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i i love pendleton blankets i still get them for ceremonies and for family gifts i love their towels their towels are spectacular <laughs> so i don't know does it make you an a-hole for loving them if you're an a-hole then i'm an a-hole <laughs> And I'll accept that. I'll accept that. <laughs> That's not a political answer at all. <laughs> Again, if you know what Cowboys and Indian magazines is, then you're an a-hole for buying Pendleton blankets. It's just, this just or like if you wear Ralph Lauren, like, you know, those kinds of things. I think people are very also caught up on like hyper politicizing the question of Pendleton. Are you an a-hole or not for buying it? And um, honestly, these, these are, that's very okay. low stakes. So you're saying I'm not an imperialist for having a $90 <laughs> dollar towel. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I don't, 